Okay, Miles. Uh, luckily, you guys made it up. You guys had to cancel yeah. last month in this camp here at Kenston, but you guys made it up. Uh, yeah. What's it like teaching kids, and, and, and what do you like about it? Um, I've done a lot of camps, and uh, I really like just kind of giving back a little bit. And also, I really like to uh, just help other kids grow in the sport and help them pursue their goals in life and in, on the wrestling mat. And I just, I don't know, I like teaching my moves because it helps me learn about what I'm doing exactly, walking myself, walking my th myself through some of these moves and just like, helping out other people. So I just like helping and uh, giving back a little bit. Coaching in your future, do you feel like it's in your future after you compete a couple cycles? Uh, yeah, so once I'm finished competing, once I'm done, um, yeah, I want to coach college wrestling. So I want to coach the highest level of wrestling I can, so that'd be dope. How many quads or cycles, you know I call it a quad, four years, right? How many yeah. quads or cycles do you think you got in you? So I want to do, um, I want to compete all the way till 2024. And then uh, hopefully if I stay healthy, uh, God forbid, um, and then just start coaching after that. So I wanna, after I graduate this year, I'll stay at Ohio State, um, train till 2024, try to make two Olympic teams and um, see how everything is after that, so yeah. Okay, 184, you know, you're an NCAA champ at 174 as a freshman, and, and your rival, no question, is, is Bo Nickel. Everybody knows that. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, he's, he's beaten you in the NCAA finals, you beat him in the NCAA finals. It, it's one of the most amazing rivalries. It's kind of going away this year. He's going yeah. up a weight. Are we going to see you potentially bump up and wrestle him, or how do you feel about him leaving the weight class? Um, I mean, he can always come back down if he wants to, um, so we'll see. Um, and maybe, I don't know, in the future I might bump up in the match. If not, I'm not sure, maybe with a team thing. But uh, it's cool. I can't, I can't, I'm not going to talk about what he wants to do, or what, well, whether he bumps up or not. I, mean, I can just control what I do and uh, what I'm going to do at the weight class. So. I'm really thinking about myself, not really anyone else right now, because I'm trying to get myself better, um, just to just to be able to compete with guys in my weight class already. So I'm just not really too worried about it right now, so because literally anything could happen. So yeah, it was a great rivalry. You do got to admit, right? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty fun. I like competing against him. Uh, the match is always exciting. You never know what's going to happen sometimes, um, and uh, he's just a great competitor. So yeah. What what do you think the biggest thing from Cleveland in the finals? You did everything right. It was literally I, I I wouldn't have changed a thing, man. You did everything right, and he caught you and he you know he's twisting and he's, he's popping you through. What did you learn from that that NCAA finals? Do you think? Um, it was a short match. I didn't learn much, but I just felt in the position when it happened. I felt that I got a little greedy. Um, I felt that uh, I over pursued the position, and then that's what happened. So it was like a little learning experience. I moved on from it, and. Uh, I learned in the position, and then now I'm just ready to move forward and like, compete in Romania and then uh, compete in nationals this upcoming season. So I'm excited. Um, I learned a lot from the match, but then I'm like moving forward as well. And uh, just put it in the past, use it to motivate me for these other matches coming up and uh, just to continue to get better. U23s. U23s coming up. Mm -hmm. You got a weird thing going into U23s. You got a dual meet before U23s, right? Yeah. It's at your high school. Mm -hmm. What's that like knowing you're going to have a, a duel at your high school, though? What's that um, like? It's kind of cool. Uh, a lot of the people I went to high school with don't really get to see me wrestle too much. Um, the good thing that it's on the Big Ten Network, it's on ESPN and stuff, but um, it's a little bit different vibe when you're actually in person at the match. So they'll get to see the Bucks compete against Navy, which Navy isn't one of those top tier teams where it's. Uh, where it's gonna be like come down to the like burn, one of those burner matches, but it'll be a good duel meet and it'll be good for the fans. It'll be good for my family going back home. So uh, I'm excited. Um, it's gonna be a little weird. It, well, it kind of helps though me getting down the weight at 184 and then having to make 86 kilos for uh, for U23. So um, as far as that, it shouldn't be too weird. It's just competition. It's just competing. I like entering competition. I like wrestling a lot. I like going against opponents. So as far as uh, wrestling a match before I go to uh, Romania. I don't think it's going to be anything I need to worry about. Romania, we know the goal is gold, yeah. right? We, everybody knows that, and I, we know you're capable, right? Mm -hmm. What, what do you, what's, what's the mentality going into that, and what's the training cycle going to be like for you? Um, right now, we're kind of ramping it up, just to kind of, uh, it's kind of early and um, kind of a little ways away to go to Romania. So we're kind of ramping it up right now, doing matches, um, going pretty hard, just to kind of build our gas tank. Um, Anaerobic, anaerobic cardio, whatever the coaches are talking about, using all these big words. And then once we get closer to competition time, we taper down a little bit and just get ready to go, focus on getting our weight down and uh, technique. And then as far as entering the tournament, I'm excited. Uh, I've never competed overseas. 
Um, I've never uh, entered a competition with foreigners, so this will be a little bit different as is this, far as... Is this your first international competition? First international competition, that. yeah. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see how I do. Um, but I'm still relaxed. I'm going to treat it like any other tournament. Um, go and compete as hard as I can and just have fun. Let it fly. Not really worry too much about anything. Any doubts you can't win 184 this year? You've won 174. You've been in the finals of 184, right? Yeah. What do you got to do to win 184 this year? Um, just be me. So just got to continue being me, continue just wrestling, um, having fun, continue to have fun in the sport. Um, don't put pressure on myself and just keep it simple. So. Kids to teach. You got anything else for me? Um, no, nothing else. Ready to do this session um, and uh, teach some cool stuff to these kids. Hope they like it. So that's all I got. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck moving forward. Good luck in Romania. Good Thank luck you. in Pittsburgh. Thank you.